world. Good morning, Facebook world. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. How many of you glad to be here? Come on, give God a hand praise. Give God a hand praise. Somebody didn't wake up this morning. Somebody didn't wake up this morning. Somebody didn't wake up this morning.
It's in my heart. Yes. Amen. It's in my heart. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. It's in your heart. Yes. Come on now. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. I'll be coming from Psalms 19. Amen. Hallelujah. He's down. He's up there smiling down on us right now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He said they didn't kick up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> They grab and hold the sum of it. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, Psalms 110 reads as follows. The Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou in my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. All right, now. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Yes. Rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. Mm -hmm. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. And the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of the youth, yes. of thy youth. The Lord hath sworn, and we are not repent. Mm -hmm. Thou art the priest forever after the order of, yes. praise God, Matizadeh. Yes. The Lord at thy right hand shall strive through kings in the day of his wrath. Mm -hmm. He shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the places with the dead bodies. Yes. He shall wound the heads of many countries. Mm -hmm. He shall drink of the brook in the way. Mm -hmm. Therefore shall he lift up the head. May God bless the readers, keep us, and follow us, and believe us in his word. Amen. 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 Amen.
He didn't say how much money a lot of times get a lot of preachers. They come real walk away from you know, Chicago or something. How much you gonna give me? He didn't ask that. He come to preach the word. Amen. Amen. Why? Because we need it. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Right. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it don't save you. That's right. Hey, Amen. So this, this man, young man here today, and I've always loved him. Even though his dad is not my brother, he called me uncle. Mm -hmm. I get excited when he called me uncle. Oh, yeah. Just like the first and the Ashley Church, they call me and grandma, friend, they call me pastor. All right. And some of them down in the church call me Tommy Lee. That's not my name. All right. My name is Thomas. <laughs> Amen. So to me, I think I'm being a day. He was a co-pastor. Mm -hmm. Amen. Of a redeemed life fellowship. Amen. Son of Bill Walker Amen. Amen. And we need to hear what the Spirit yeah. is saying to the church. He's he, he, he gonna sing himself. Amen. He he do it all. All right. Amen. Amen. He saw so good one time I thought call him Charlie Embry. Amen. <laughs> Charlie Sand <and> Charlie. <laughs> Amen. Love him and amen. Love his spirit. And he's down here and we're going to treat him right. Amen. 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 You don't never know who God will choose in your family. That's right. That's right. It'll be who you, whatever you think is wrong, you can keep it to your what? Yeah. Keep it to yourself. All right. right. All right. The Lord is growing this church mm -hmm. because people are coming in and preaching that word. Yeah. And we, I don't even know about y'all. I need the word. Yeah. So co pastor Charles Bernard Emory Crumb. Bill Walker, which comes. Amen. We want you to preach that word. Amen. Some of them gonna get mad. Amen. All right, all right. They'll catch that going on out the door. Amen. 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 And I thank God for you. Amen. Amen. We'd like to introduce some of them to others. I'll call you Dr. Charles Bernard Emory Jr. Amen. Amen. Give him a hand to come. Amen. Amen.
honor to my pastor extending the opportunity for me to come this far to Humboldt, Tennessee. I've been here several years, mm -hmm. but I'm glad Amen. to be here. Yeah. Because right. I know it's divinely appointed. Yeah. Right. It's not by happenstance yeah. mm -hmm. that I'm here. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's by divine appointment. Because God sent me to 6th Street, Greater 6th Street, to give you a word. All right, now. I got my fiance with me, I'm glad she came with me. My ride and die. Yeah. My future bride. I thank God because I couldn't have made him alone. Hey, I don't have a car, but she does. Right, so guess what? We got a car together right. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. See, when you get a revelation, when it comes to relationship, you yeah. know you and God, then anybody else comes secondary in your life, but to God be on the floor. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Let your glory fill this house. Mm -hmm. Let your own consuming fire fill this tabernacle and purify my heart. Surround me in this place. Want you to breathe new life within us. Send a refresh, Lord, and purify our hearts. Rain on us, breathe on us, shower
Oh, bless your name. Yeah. Bless your name. Your presence is here. Yeah. I hear the Lord saying, yeah. in this place, yeah. there's a greater elevation. Yeah. There's a prophetic anointing. Yeah. It's pouring in the atmosphere. And God says, if you don't listen, when God begins to speak to you in the house, your blessing. Yeah. Maybe we need God to do something for you in this season. God says, tap into the anointing. When you tap into the anointing, you know the way of the Spirit of God. Yeah. It is the fire of God yeah. that's falling on every heart. He's an I'm changing your situation. Some of you have been worried about things that are your power to change. Yeah. You worry about your finances, yeah. worry about your health, yeah. worry about your job, yeah. worry about your children. Yeah. God said the season is shifting. Yeah. Yeah. There's a time and a season yeah. for everything under the sun. Yeah. Yeah. And God says I'm shifting. The atmosphere in this place. Yeah. I'm calling for the provoking spirit of yeah. anointing to provoke you to worship. Yeah, yeah. So many times we come in quiet. Yeah. The spectators, we're watching, but we're not entering into the goal. God says, now is the season yeah. to enter to the goal. Yeah. Come on now. There's a call in this place. If you look with the spiritual eye, mm -hmm. you can see it moving in the atmosphere. All right. God says the glory. There's a glory cloud. When God came down to visit Moses on Mount Sinai, he filled the temple. And it says the train of the glory filled the place where he stood. And God gave him a word for his people. All right. God says today, get into the glory. Yeah. Get into the glory. Yeah. Get in that place. Yeah. So when you get in the glory, the cancer is healed. Yeah. Diabetes is healed. Arthritis is healed. Yeah. Strong clothes are broken. Yeah. Chains and shackles fall off. Yeah. In the glory. Yeah. 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 I feel the Lord moving in this All place right now. Lord, we need your glory. Yeah. Tell them I need your glory. I need your glory. I need your glory. Yeah. Say it right to me. I need your glory. And guess what? He don't do that to you. He don't fill you with the glory. Right here in your tabernacle. You are the living tabernacle of today. You're the closest Jesus somebody going to see in the world. But God says, as you begin to shift, when the cloud shifts, when God led the children of Israel out of Egypt, yeah. wherever the cloud went, yeah. they went. Yeah. And when it stopped, they stood still. Yeah. God says it's a pillar of fire in the nighttime yeah. because your adversary is looking for you while you're sleeping. Come on. All right. All right. But God says while you're sleeping, there's a cloud and pillar of fire that surrounding you. Yeah. And the enemy desires to sift you like wheat. But God says right now, the glory is here. His fire is here. His spirit is here. And all you got to do is look up. Yes, amen. Just look up. Just look up. When you look out of yourself and you look up where God is, guess what? The glory shows up. Glory to God in the highest. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to be before you alone, but I just feel the spirit of God. I've yeah. been having a fire for two weeks burning in my heart. Yeah. Can't put it out. No matter what I do, it won't go away. All right. Still hot because the presence is here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God in the highest. Yeah. Go with me to Matthew chapter 15. I have a few scriptures I'm going to talk about. 
Amen. Time all in together. Amen. To let you know what God is saying to the house today. Amen. My subject I want to talk about is the matters of the heart. All right. The matters of the heart. Yes, sir. What is it that's keeping your heart from flowing all right. the issue of life? So Matthew chapter 15, beginning in verse 5. But ye say, whoso, can you stand in reference to the word, please? Stand in reference to the word. <coughs> Hallelujah. Amen. We do this in our church all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. So, but ye say, whosoever should say to his father and his mother, it is a gift. But, who, but whatsoever thou mightest be, be, be profited by, and honor not his father or mother, mm -hmm. he shall be free. Mm -hmm. Thus ye have made the commandments of God of not effect by your traditions. Jesus. Ye hypocrites. Yes. Mm. Well, did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, This people draweth not to me with their mouth and honors me with their lips, mm -hmm. but their heart, All right. their heart, it's far from me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But in vain mm -hmm. they do worship me, yeah. teaching for doctrine the commandments of men. Mm -hmm. oh, God. Verse 10. And, and he called the multitude and said to them, Hear and understand, not that goes into the mouth that follows a man, mm -hmm. but that which cometh out of the mouth. Mm -hmm. This that follows a man. Amen. 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 Verse 13. But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted shall be up, shall be rooted. Mm -hmm. Rooted up. Let them alone. He said, They be blind leaders of the blind. Yeah. If the blind and the blind both shall fall into the ditch. Yeah. Then go to verse 16. Mm -hmm. He said, Do you do not ye understand that whatsoever enter in the, the mouth goes into the belly and is cast out into a drop. Mm -hmm. Verse 18. But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart mm -hmm. that defile the man he may be yeah. seated. Yeah. Yeah. I had the privilege this morning to speak to a, another church, Refreshing, Strength, Refreshing Springs, Baptist Church in Chicago, virtually. This morning from 10 to 11, their service, the leader hour service, they lost their pastor a few months ago. Good to see you, my cousin, Rob. Bless you. All of you, God bless you. And uh, all the ministers, prophets, God bless you. Good to see you all today. And they asked me about six months ago to speak for their church virtually. And I agreed to do it. And God gave me a word for the house. And then today, a few weeks ago, they asked me again if I would do the same thing, speak for their church again because they haven't found a pastor yet. And I always speak a word, what God tells me. Yeah. And God spoke. He was going to give the house what they needed. Mm -hmm. The same word for this house. What you need, mm -hmm. God don't give it to you. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. What you need, God don't give it to you. Yeah. Yeah. But you got to believe it. That's right. One thing about God, he ain't going to force you to believe nothing. That's right. That's right. You believe down all you want to. Yeah. But you believe that bitch going to hold you up. Yeah, all right. And one thing God spoke this morning, the same passage of scripture, is that many times we defile ourselves mm -hmm. by the things we allow other people to feed into our ear game. That's right, that's right. That's our right. ear game yeah. is very valuable. Mm -hmm. You have to guard your ear game as much as your heart. Proverbs 4 23 says, guard your what? Heart. Uh, yes. Yes. For out of the heart floweth yes. the issues of life. Yes. You think about a natural heart the size of a fish in your body, right? Mm -hmm. What it does, it's a muscle, but it pumps the blood. Yeah. If the heart decides to malfunction and stop pumping the blood, what's going to happen? It's going to die. Yeah. The reason why they have cardiologists to examine your heart to find you got heart disease, heart murders, heart issues. Yeah. Why? Because he needs to know how to deal with the condition. Yeah, yeah. And God began to show me that the spiritual heart it suffers just as much as the physical heart. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. We allow ourselves to eat on so much garbage of the world, we become garbage collectors. All right. Come on. God says, stop allowing people to make you a garbage collector. Yeah. He said, I'm sending the Holy Spirit as a dump truck to you can get everything they dump to you in the garbage truck. Come on now. Come on. Come on. And he said, when the truck comes yeah. off, don't hold back. You're getting pieces. You 
start that business. You're never going to get your children back. You'll always be poor and a pauper. You're never going to profit. You'll always have a migraine headache. You're always going to be sick. You'll always mess up. You'll never get things right. Yeah, come on, come on. Come How many on. times somebody spoke that to you? Come on, come on. And you knew that wasn't from God. Yeah, yeah. And you received it anyway. Yeah, come on. God is saying today, when the glory comes, the glory, it takes the place of all the garbage that he's been trying to fill you with. Yeah. All right. All right. Help us My God. Glory. So God is saying this morning, the matters of the heart. Because mm -hmm. so many people, Sunday after some Sunday, come into the house. Can I have some water or something? Please? They come into the house and they're broken. They come into the house and they're wounded. Yeah. And we're not sensitive by the Spirit of God to recognize the symptoms. People come in, they show you warning symptoms. You don't believe it? Look at your body. Yeah. yeah. When your body's not messing up, what it do? It gives you symptoms. Yeah, that's right. That's right. If you don't deal with the symptoms, guess what? It magnifies, become worse than it was in the beginning of the symptoms. Yeah. Yeah. God says your spiritual heart is just as critical as the symptoms, the warning signs from the spirit of the living God to yeah. tell you your heart is malfunctioning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But if you don't pay attention, you're going to miss it. Yeah. You continue to sit in church week after week, yeah. still broke, broken, and destitute. Yeah. And God says today, Guard your heart, for out of it sets the course of your life. Yeah. The issues of your life come from your heart, so your destiny. Yeah. Check this out. Jesus. Your purpose, your destiny is attached to your heart. All right now. All right. All right. Oh God. I'm going to say yeah. it again. Your purpose and your destiny is attached to your heart. Come on now. So you got a vision. God gave you no provision. Something wrong with that. Yeah. Because a vision without provision is just a, a, a dream. Amen. All right. Amen. Vision without provision is nothing but a dream. Because my God, he said, I will give you the vision. He told her back in chapter 2 and 8. He said, write the vision, make it plain. That all they see it may run with it. Why? Because I won't get the provision to go and tarry. Yeah. Come on, come on. Yet it's for an appointed time. And guess what? He said, and it will surely, surely. come to pass. Yeah, yeah. yeah Go to yeah. Ezekiel chapter 36. Yes. So whatever yes. goes in your heart, don't defile you. Mm -hmm. Or if it stays there, it corrupts you. Mm -hmm. well, but he said, what goes in the mouth goes to the belly, come out as dawn. That's what he's talking about. Poop. You got a lot of folk in the house of God carrying poop in their hands. Come on now. And God said, get rid of the mess. Yeah. Right. We get comfortable sitting in our mess and we ask God to bless us. God said, I can't because your poop is in the way. All right now. Yeah. Come on, God. Yeah, but... And God yeah. said, I'm trying to clean you up, but you keep messing up and you don't want to stay clean. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so we get prideful. We get arrogant. We get haughty in the all house right, of God. Now, all right. And mad at folk even get offended. Yeah. Come on. I've been teaching offense for the last three months. And large offense of folk is in the house of God. Come on. I don't like the way you talk to me. Come on. Come on. I don't like the way you look at me. I don't like what you wear. I don't like the shoes. All right now. I don't like this about you. Come on. 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 Yes. And God is saying, go to Ezekiel 36, verse 25. My God. Jesus. Glory to God. All of them tying together. You don't see it. Verse 25. So then I, then what I sprinkle clean water upon you. Yeah. Who's talking about this? All right. That's God. Yeah. 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 He gives us a message. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel prophesied. Tell the children of Israel that I will, mm -hmm. the great I am, 
The same one that sent Moses to Egypt said, tell Pharaoh that I am that I am sent thee. The same I am is right to be between Yeah, yeah. Tell it to the angel that I am. I am put sprinkle clean water upon you, then you will be wet. Clean. Yeah. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. I can get cleansed for clean water. Yeah. How many times have your children taken a bath in the same water? All right, all right, all right. So one child take a bath. All right. Next child get in the bathtub. Yeah. The same dirty water, next child get in that water. All right. All Guess right. what? We call ourselves clean. Of course, with this one. Yeah. So every time we get in the bathtub and we think we're clean, we're still dirty. Amen. All right. One, I go back to the alcohol, yeah. go back to the drug addiction, yeah. go back to my sinfulness, yeah. go back to my wicked ways. Yeah. So I'm still dirty. Yeah. Come on. God said, tell Israel the rebellion. I'm going to clean them and rebellion going to be moved. All right. All right. To tell them I'm going to clean them up. That speaking way is going to be removed. Yeah. That stubborn is going to be removed. Yeah. My God. Yeah. He says, and from all your filthiness, mm -hmm. my God, yeah. and from all your idols, mm -hmm. I, will I cleanse you? Amen. Amen. Clean water. Yeah. Clean water, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Filthiness. Idols? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take all that out of you. All right. What is so more important in your life than God? All right. What is your idol today? All right. God all said, right. think about, examine your heart right now. See what's more important than God in your life. Yeah. All right. And God said, guess what? If you let go of it, mm -hmm. the I am yeah. will cleanse you. All right. yeah. Oh, it's so amazing. So amazing. That's the job news right there. Yeah. And then he says, Will I cleanse you? Mm -hmm. So he confirms it. Uh -huh. I'm going to do it. Yeah. So he confirms it will be done. Yeah. Right. And I was missed that. We read the scripture over and over. over. We missed a few little points in there. That's right. But God said to pay attention. Then he goes and said, a new. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> a new heart also. Come on. Will I Give you. Yeah, yeah. You know what? No, it's something to be new. That's done in touch. Mm -hmm. Go to the store, don't be warm. Mm -hmm. New shoes. Something that's patterned just for you. Yeah. And no one else had the right to it but you. Mm -hmm. That's new. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So God says, you know what? The first verse, I'm going to clean you with clean water. Mm -hmm. He'll take away the filthiness, take away the idols. Mm -hmm. He said, you're going to be cleansed. Fill your new heart. Yes. Jesus. All right. He says, and sprinkle in the new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. Mm -hmm. So no need to give you a new heart. You can't have a new heart without the spirit. All right. All right. So what All right. the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I don't have the spirit, you walk in the flesh. We're not walking the spirit. Yes. But they that walk in the spirit will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Mm -hmm. So if I walk in the spirit, the spirit gonna give me leadership. He gonna guide me. He gonna instruct me. He gonna come. What did Jesus tell the disciples? Come on. Come on now. Say, you know what, boys? I'm about to leave you. Mm. But I'm not gonna leave you comfortless. Yes. Because I go to my father. Yes. But when I go to my father, I want to pray that he sent you another comfort. Yes. 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 He says that when the comforter comes, he's going to convict the world of sin. No, he not. He's going to lead you and guide you in all truth and bring back to your remembrance the things with which I have commanded you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. To the new heart. Yeah. New heart. To that messed up heart you got. That perverted heart. That lustful heart. All right. That pride heart. All right. That arrogant heart. Yes, that stubborn heart. All right. God says that broken heart. Yeah. That lonely heart. Mm. That miserable heart. That poor heart. I'm taking it out of you. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He says I'm gonna give you a new spirit. All right. All right. All right. So when the spirit comes in, mm -hmm. he's a perfect gentleman. Yes. 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 So everything that you learn from Jesus, mm -hmm. 
when he walked among the earth, all the testimony written in the book, mm -hmm. they couldn't even write everything he did. Yeah. They didn't have more books. Mm -hmm. But because of what he done, mm -hmm. God promises, yes. I'm going to give you a new spirit. Mm -hmm. And he says, when the spirit comes in, I'm going to take out of you the stony heart. All right. I'm going to give you a heart of flesh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because Come on now. Come on. Come I on. am that I, I am. am. Yeah. 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 I'm the one that has the power. Come yeah. on now. I have the ability to change your heart. Yeah. I am the one that spoke in the beginning when the world was framed. Come on. And the spirit hovered upon the face of the waters. Yeah. I am the same God in the beginning. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I am that I am. Yeah. The Alpha and the Omega. Yeah. From the beginning to the yeah. end. Yeah. I am that I am. Yeah. I'm the same God. Yeah. yeah. We hold your hospital bed. Yeah. And the doctor shook his head. Yeah. We know what to do about you. Yeah. I'm the same.
bow my head before the King of Glory. God, I need you in the midnight hour. God, I need you when the storm of life will rage. Just stand by me. God, I need you when my heart is broken. God, I need you when my mind is confused. From the sixth to the ninth hour, he hung there. In the locks of the show. Yeah. Yeah. The story don't end there. Yeah. There's more to the story. Uh -huh. Because he loved you and me so much. Yeah. He said, if I be lifted up.
your Lord and Savior. You need to make this opportunity your choice. Give your life to the Lord. Yes. Because tomorrow's not promised to you. Leave off this building not promised to you. Yes. You can walk out here and drop dead. It happens many times. Right. Amen. If you don't have your soul right with Jesus, yes. I charge you today to get right with the Lord. Yes. Because this is the moment and the hour and the opportunity. Today, if you yes. hear my voice, so don't turn a deaf ear and hide your heart. As the children even provoke God to anger, God said, don't provoke them to anger because of your sinful ways. Yeah. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son yeah. that whosoever shall believe on him shall not perish but shall have everlasting life. That's a guarantee. You might get back by the day. You might be here 30, 40, 50 years be younger. And you backslid. Yeah. God says today's your time, your time, your right. Yeah. It's your time to turn your life back to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And you know who you are? You're backfired, don't play church. Don't play with God. But God said, His eyes go forth to and forth the earth. Yeah. See everything under the sun. Yeah. You know everything about you. But you're here today. When you any one of those causes, yes. salvation. Or in dedication. Yes. This is your moment. It's your opportunity. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you. Yes. For your message, God. Mm -hmm. I pray that it changed lives. Yes. Convict hearts. Yes. To want to change. Mm -hmm. To live in the fullness of who you are. Yes. That you would get the glory. Mm -hmm. Forgive us for our sins. Knowing and unknowing, God. And wash us in the blood of Him. That we have nothing to hinder us from living for you yes. from this day forward. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name we pray.